Friends, I wanted to do a follow-up video on the Lakato. I want to say, say it right, JW06, JW06 wireless system. I did gig with it this weekend at a kind of a rustic party get-together uh, thing, which was pretty cool. We had a lot of uh, people there enjoying us, playing just some crazy music, me and a, and a band that I've... Uh, former musician friends that I've got that we get together and do a little reunion once in a while. But it went very smooth. It's the first time I've ever gigged with a wireless system. And uh, you know, I've, I've experimented with them in, in practice sessions and stuff like that. I just didn't know that I could ever trust one. This uh, show was informal enough that it was no problem. I wasn't worried about, uh, about whether you know everything went perfect or not. But ironically, all of my tech went worked great in this show and what we did we played about a 50 minute set we took a break we came back did about a 45 minute set came back did another 45 minute set so three sets i did not i did not hook this thing up to anything to charge it the battery that's inside here which this is battery powered you charge it here i did a previous video it was a kind of a first look and did some testing here at the house and i told you in that video uh, which you can go watch if you like, that I thought this would be great for gigging. It turns out it was fantastic. I did not miss having a cable at all. It was as stable as could be. Uh, what I would do is in between sets, I just left this on top of my amp, and I would plug these little guys back in there, and you can see what happens. They start charging again. So it recharged them to full charge three times, and then when I put it back on, there was like one bar. It has four blue bars. So with three charges off of this, no attaching a USB or anything to charge it or recharge it, it charged the transmitter and receiver three times. And it was it was great. It worked, it's, it's awesome. You know, I found myself behaving like I was still corded. I mean, it's, I, I would be standing there and standing in my little spot and everything. And I'd realize, you know, if I wanted to, I could move. And so I started doing it. I started getting out and going over to where the other guitar player was and we would jam and, you know, go back and forth and trade licks and stuff. It was really free. And the farthest I got away from the receiver, would I would guess, is about 30 feet. So I didn't take it out to what it, it, it's recommended. It says it'll go up to like 65 feet. I did not push that. And uh, But yeah, this is very much worth having. The Lakato JW06. And as I did as I did in my previous video, when I did when I tested the latency on this, they advertised it as less than six milliseconds. I tested it to less than three milliseconds. It was 2.8 uh, milliseconds. That's what it was to get the signal from the transmitter to the receiver. So that is absolutely negligible. If it's even if it were less than six, that would be great. But it turns out, in, in, in my practice, it was much less than that. So it was, it was like I say, it's less than three, less than three milliseconds. But everything was rock solid. Every time I'd go to uh, pair the two, there was no problem. It took like two seconds to pair them. Uh, I was, uh, <coughs> of course, putting the receiver into the, um, the tuner on my pedal board. So that was the first in my pedal chain. So I didn't go into the amp. I went into the into the pedal into my pedal board and then from my pedal board out to the amp with a cable now that would be something if you use two of these and try it you know could you could you achieve on a seven or eight milliseconds if you had one going from your pedal board i don't know i wasn't about to try anything like that again these were sent to me for free they're eighty dollars uh, I'm going to play with them every time I go out. Now, your time will tell how long they'll last. You know, will they keep, will they you know, go for years and years? I do not know. I don't know that there's any way to, re to replace the battery that's in there. I just don't know. It doesn't look like there's any kind of opening that's set where you could go and do that. So, you know, uh, I may have to at some point in the future report back to you and tell you if, you know, hey, three years from now, you might have to buy this again. I don't know. All I know is for 80 bucks for right now, foreseeable future, when I go out and play, this is what I'm going to connect my guitar to. I played a Pete Anderson Reverend guitar, a Telecaster type thing with strap sort of set up, and that worked great. I did a, the, the little um, uh, guitar that I recently acquired, Treblemaker Telecaster. Those were the two guitars. I had a, a, a Charvel as a backup. I played my Charvel, I think, in the other video, maybe. 
and it worked great too. So it works uh, really killer with all the guitars that I've got so far that I've run it through. I think I've run it through this Ivan is it's behind me up here too, if you can see that. And uh, it's done great with that one. I've, I've played it with that uh, uh, black and black and silver to silver Telecaster. That's a modern players. I can't remember what it's called now. At any rate, really cool Telecaster. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen what it's called. So yeah, this is worth having. Uh, if you got any questions about it, folks, let me know. I mean, it, it did exactly what it was supposed to do and it was a blessing to have that and not have to, uh, to have to be tripping over my cables and stuff. It made it a lot easier for me. And like I say, it was really nice to be able to move around on the stage. And you know, I, I'm just, I'm so clumsy. I've stepped on my cables from time to time. I, I have in times past unplugged myself. I'm, I'm that bad. So this was a cool thing to have. So the JW06 from Lakato, it's cool. You'll like it. Peace.